Currently working on a Jeep Patriot. This is a 2012 model. It's got the engine light on and customer complaint that it does run rough at times. I'm just after coming off a test drive on it. Uh, drivability is actually fine at the moment. Very little noticeable difference. I uh, have just done a scan and it's come up with fault codes P2173 high airflow vacuum leak detected and we've also got an ABS one stored there as well for C121C torque request signal denied so in this video I'm going to be doing some checks to hopefully find and fix this fault <laughs> So I just pulled up some information here, the long term and short term, want to see what's going on there. Um, at the minute, it looks to be fine, looks to be within what I would expect, there's no idle issues either. So your idling is fine, RPM change is okay as well. So I'm going to do a road test now, see what the long term and short term do, see if they go outside of what the expected range would be. Then I'm going to get it back to the workshop and do some visual checks around the bonnet and then maybe a smoke test as well, depending on if I find something or not. So that's the plan, get back to the workshop after a road test. So while on the road test, there was nothing that I could pick up that was standing out and out of the way. So it was back to the workshop and have a look under the bonnet and see if I could see anything. Unfortunately, there was nothing obvious there. So it was time for the smoke machine to come out. I set up the smoke machine and I had it connected into the intake. Now what I'm doing there is blocking off a breather so a bit more pressure can come through the intake manifold and not get lost in the rocker cover. And as you can see here, once I have that breather pipe blocked off, it starts to push it up through and you can see on the top of the intake manifold is leaking heavily across all cylinders. Okay, so I have it all back together now. The smoke machine is put away. The engine light is off. That's only because I cleared the codes. Um, fuel trims and all that are actually okay now, but as we've seen in that uh, smoke test, that intake manifold gasket is leaking. The information has been given to the customer, so we have found the fault. Um, whether there's other leaks, I can't be 100% on, but I know the primary reason is that intake manifold, and then we need to recheck after that. If the customer comes back and gets the work done through us in a short period of time, I will attach it onto this video and include the final um, test drive in it. If not, that's the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed and found it informative again if you have a fault code like that checking the likes of the fuel trims and then checking to see if you have any visual leaks you can use the likes of a, a carby cleaner or a brake clean around different areas to see if you um, can hear any audible change but that's really if you have leaks that are causing idling issues consistent consistently where you would have a tone change in the idle when you would be um, injecting that carby cleaner let's say it was around that intake manifold on the likes of this it wasn't that notable the idles okay performance is okay so the smoke test is really the only method that I'd be comfortable using and getting a definitive result. So the customer did decide to get the repair done and what you're looking at here is the old intake manifold gasket after being replaced. I'm just showing some areas that were leaking. The uh, blackening spots were quite hard and it was pushing gases out the top side of that. This is it all back together bar a few other connections and we're getting ready for the final road test. So the Jeep now is all finished up. It's got the intake manifold gasket installed, road test completed, and no faults have been recorded again. It had that P2173 high airflow vacuum leak detected, slow accumulation fault, that is now gone. With the smoke test we found it was leaking through and visually, as you can see on that gasket, it was hardened at the top, it had become 
not quite like a plasticky material when they get really bad but a hardened um, rubbery texture which meant it was leaking past in certain areas when those age over time they harden and they break down and the seal isn't as good as required so that is it for this one um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful and informative if you did please like share comment and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching Ooh, ooh.